It's Monday, Gladiators. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm John Christofferson. And this is your KWHS News. Today we are starting things off on a more serious note. We've had numerous suicides in the Pikes Peak region that have affected us greatly. Because of this, there will be a suicide prevention clinic on September 21st at the Mesa Ridge Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. Licensed clinicians from Aspen Point will provide tips and coping strategies, warning signs, ways to help. For more information, call this number. Red Cross Club will be raising relief funds for the hurricanes in Florida and Louisiana. The fundraiser starts today and ends Friday. The club will have tables set up in the science hall. Bring all of your spare change. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps have started their visits with us. Wednesday, CSU Pueblo. Thursday, CU Boulder. September 21st, UCCS. Metro State University will be here on September 22nd. Colorado College will visit us on September 27th. To round off the month, George Mason University visits on September 28th. For those of you planning ahead, Grand Canyon will be here October 6th, Western State University October 11th, and Fort Hayes University October 12th. In November, UNC Greeley will stop by November 1st, Denver University will be here on the 8th, and Lamar Community College will stop by on November 10th. And Ending the month of November, CSU Fort Collins will visit on November 17th. Be sure to go to the Counseling Center to sign up for a pass. Also, seniors, be sure to check out the link on the Counseling Center page for scholarship ideas. This list is also updated in the Counseling Center. Remember that the deadline to submit the FAFSA is March 31st for the 2016-2017 school year. This is required for grants, scholarships, and other forms of financial aid. Please note that other schools have deadlines of March 1st. Check with the financial aid office at the school you plan to attend for accurate deadlines. Access FAFSA through this website. And beware of scams. You should never have to pay to complete the FAFSA. Hey seniors, the first senior class meeting of the year will be held on Thursday, September 15th during advisory in the auditorium. There will be lots of information regarding graduation. If you cannot make the meeting, see Ms. Jones in the Counseling Center. Speaking of graduation, Herf Jones will be in the Lower Commons during lunch on Thursday, September 22nd to help seniors place cap, gown, and graduation announcement orders. Place your orders before winter break or prices will go up. Whitefield High School announcements are more limited in January. Go to this link after September 22nd to place orders. If you have any questions, contact Herf Jones at this phone number. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Hi, this is Miss Betsy here. For lunch today, we're having a chicken sandwich with fries. Hope to see ya. Have a great day. Bye. Sounds like a great meal to start the week. Interested in science? Go join Science Club and find out and find out about all the events you can participate in. Meetings are every Monday at lunch in room 121 with Mrs. Carmody. Now here's Dylan with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. The next fall baseball workout is today at 4 at Big Blue. The football team played against Mitchell on Saturday night at Gary Berry Stadium and ran away with the victory. Interested in Ultimate Frisbee? See Mr. Nell in room 116, or Mr. Wallace in room 4. Softball has had a great start to their season and is currently on a winning streak. We caught up with outfielder Celestina Romero to get her perspective. Our first game, we definitely was surprised that we won against Cheyenne Mountain. After the last inning, our coach just started sending girls in after Dana, our pitcher. He made a second and we brought in three girls, so we won 10-8. During the season, our focus, I think, is our main problem during games. We tend to fall off. If we're losing, we have our heads down. Down for winning we get too ahead of ourselves we just need to be on it pay attention and watch the game I think all of our players are pretty strong we all have um, our own individual talent and if we all work together have a good season if you haven't caught a game this season go out and support the Lady Glides have an excellent Monday back to you John and Abby thanks Dylan interested in building robots if you missed the meeting on Friday at lunch see mr. white in room 2 also be sure to see mr. Nell in room 116 in case you missed the cyber Patriot meeting Hey John, homecoming is around the corner. Are you ready? Oh, I sure am. I have my plans made and my outside guest form is ready to be turned in by this Friday. All I need are the tickets. Well, the tickets will be on pre-sale starting today in the business office for $10. This year's theme will be Grecian Gardens. Sounds like a fun night. Ladies, would you like a free dress for the homecoming dance? Then Becca's Closet is for you. See Miss Molina in room 111 or Mrs. HK in the library starting now until the 23rd to make a dress appointment. There are over 100 dress styles and sizes to choose from. The best part, you get to keep the dress. 
GLADS, if you have not gotten your ID card, be sure to purchase them in the business office for $3. And for those of you who are in after school activities, be sure to turn in the form and get the sticker from either the business or the main office. That's it for today, Gladiators. Have a great week. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Abby Lerbecki. And this was your KWHS News. It's just another man.